and there's a line in the script that is, um, in, in a way, enca- encapsulates the play, and it's a line by John Daniel where he says, uh, she says, how did you get to be so old? And John Daniel says, because time fell asleep in the snow and never told us. And I remember reading it and going, right, man, I'm fucking in. Let's do it. I kind of um, grew up with Ed's work, in a sense, as a spectator. When I was a young man, they were possibly the only times I went to the theatre. The rest of the time I was at gigs and raves, you know, and Ed's plays felt in some ways more part of that energy. They felt like rocks thrown into a stagnant pond and they felt very new and vital. I was amazed and really kind of relieved that after so long he's, he'd written a new play. It's just these my, my new shy moments of human truths, you know, how difficult we all find life and living as human beings, how much we have as human beings to negotiate in every conversation, in every utterance, there's like this whole, you know, our minds are so busy. Um, and memory, in a sense, is, 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 a, is a respite from that constant high speed chess game we're, we're playing. You know? Memory is an oasis sometimes where, where you don't have to do that. You're the boss in the memory, you, you know what happens in a memory, you're the director of a memory, you're the filmmaker and the editor of your memories. Um, real life's a bit more tricky.